Welcome back to the channel. Uh, so today we're doing a, a fridge run test uh, using a 100 amp hour lithium battery. Now, if you haven't checked out the other videos, please do. Um, but what we uh, did was purchased all the raw components to build our own um, 100 amp hour lithium battery for under 600 Australian dollars. Uh, I know you can get cheaper, but these are all really good quality parts, um, good um, grade A, sales brand new so uh yeah be interesting to see how long it runs the fridge for we've done a few tests now on various batteries on um running the fridge at fridge temperature freezer temperature um so yeah be interesting to see how long it does it so basically it's got a built-in bms with bluetooth so i've had it on charge and we're at 100 percent all our cells are nicely even 13.46 volts zero amps at the moment we haven't switched it on so here's my little homemade shunt i made so switch that on and we'll get cracking so that's all zeroed off the fridge a few of you have commented before uh this time we've got plenty of beers in there uh it is christmas so we'll be getting through them um so yeah all these beers are room temperature as well the fridge hasn't been switched on so uh yeah we'll get cracking so we'll switch it on cool that's really in 22 degrees at the moment inside it's set to zero let's set it to three compressors just kicked in done 13.3 volts it's 1.75 amps he's being pulled out right now and if we go to the bluetooth one minus three amps that's a difference so it'd be interesting to see the comparison unless that's doing any average so we'll keep an eye on both um and basically i'll just keep getting back to you every uh day and um we'll see how many hours it will run for and uh go from there so we'll uh see you soon so it's been 27 hours now sitting at three degrees i had to um decrease the temperature down to one degrees um yesterday just because of the sun was on it and it was a 30 odd degree day so um i had to uh compensate for that but it's back to three degrees now and where are we at so we have 57 percent 57 amp hours uh remaining um we're pulling 4.4 at the moment all of our cells still nicely balanced all sitting at the same voltage which is nice then on our shunt we have consumed 22.4 amp hours. Um, the time, 21 hours, is actually 27 hours. When the compressor kicks out and there's no discharge, the time actually pauses. I don't know why it's doing that. It's never done that before. It must be a setting I've done. Um, so it's actually 27 hours this fridge has been running for, but this is just timing the amount of time that there's an actual current draw on on the unit so um yeah so we'll we'll compare the pair over the next couple of days so uh we'll get back to you tomorrow it's christmas eve right now so tomorrow's christmas day but i'll still do a little video and uh we'll see how it's going from there cheers merry christmas okay so it's the next day and it's christmas day merry christmas everyone hope you're having a good one so it's been 48 hours and we're at 12.96 volts. We have consumed 58.6 amp hours with 41.4 remaining. Uh, all the cells are all looking pretty close to me, all looking good. And difference with the shunt. So it's saying we've only consumed 30.8 amp hours. Again, the runtime is saying 41 hours and 44 minutes. Um, that actually pauses when there is zero um, current passing through 
so uh, it's running a little bit behind um, so yeah it'll be interesting to see the difference once that battery is completely depleted um, but yeah we'll uh, hit you back tomorrow um, boxing day we have been opening and closing the uh, the fridge and it's in at the moment it's about 36 degrees so um, yeah the compressor's working quite hard um, but yeah be interesting to to see how long this battery lasts so uh, I'm gonna crack on have my beer jump in the pool and um, I'll get back to you tomorrow boxing day and uh, we'll see how it's going Merry Christmas everyone cheers okay so it's the next day it's boxing day and the fridge is dead won't switch on BMS is still awake, it's still active. 10.25 uh, volts. Um, the cells are all pretty close, 2.5 volts. Cycle capacity. So from that, I'm guessing it's it means it's it's used 75.1 amp hours. Uh, remaining is zero. So whether there's a setting on there that I haven't done, I'm not quite sure. But if we compare that to the inline shunt. It's saying we've only consumed 39.5 amp hours and it's only ran for 62 hours, 54 minutes. Now, I know that's incorrect. The time, it's actually ran for literally 70 hours. Um, so, literally three full days the fridges ran. Um, so, I don't know why there's such a huge difference between the two. Um, there's, there's a setting somewhere that's not quite right. Um, but we're going to go by the BMS. So, yeah, basically 70 hours runtime, the, uh, the fridge at between two and three degrees. Um, we've got, still got some beers in there. Um, they're still quite cold actually. Um, but the fridge has been out in the open on this test and we've had, it's been like mid thirties every day. So the fridges work bloody hard to be honest. Um, compensating for the heat. So, um, so yeah, I think that's pretty good for the first test. Put that back around the right way. Um, so what I'm going to do next is um, we're going to put it back on charge and see how many amps go back into the into the battery, and then I'm going to do a couple more tests on it. And I don't know whether um, cycling the cells and recharging them back up um, will increase the uh, the capacity as in the it will run for longer i'm not quite sure so i'm just gonna have a little play with it but for now that's that's that test done and um yeah and we'll move on to a couple more tests so uh, i'll get back to you soon so it's been 70 hours and 36 minutes to be exact um since the last video it's i've just literally switched off the charger hence why we're sitting at 14 volts um this shunt is saying that we have pumped back in 53.9 amp hours so i don't know what's going on there um but if we go to the bms 14.1 three volts and we're at 100 percent the cells are all pretty close i'm really happy with that the red indicates it doesn't mean that there's a um there's a fault it just means that that's the lowest value and then the blue is the highest value the green is the in-between. So I wouldn't stress too much about that. Uh, cycle capacity, 77.5 amp hours. We just go to settings. Um, all of that is okay. And the over voltage uh, protection for the cell is set to 3.6. I know these cells are 3.65 volts, but I always like to have that little bit of tolerance. I don't like to max them out. So um, comment if that's incorrect, but I always just like to leave a little bit of gap. And then the over voltage um, protection recovery voltage is 3.55. So uh, I'm pretty happy with that. This was all preset. I haven't changed any of this. And then the under voltage uh, protection is 2.6 and then the recovery is 2.65. Again, comment if that's incorrect, but I'm, I'm happy with that from the spec sheet of the cells. So I'm just going to leave that well alone. Um, we'll go back to this. So what we're going to do now is we're going to wrap up the video, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to carry out the test again um, I won't film it. I'll just show you the end result and see what the uh, the difference is. 
the huge amount of difference between this shunt and the BMS to the point where I've literally just um, ordered a Victron smart shunt and we'll be using that for now on, on all the tests and we'll just be solely relying on that. Um, just because these are so far out, it's untrue. Um, so basically we got 75 amp hours out of the battery, but I think cycling cells, um, that will increase and whether there was a setting that I, I didn't quite get right, I'm not sure, but we'll, um, yeah, we'll do the test again in the same conditions and see how it performs. I'll upload that and then we'll crack on with the next one. So uh, yeah, hope you like this one. Um, please subscribe, like, comment, and uh, it really helps um, boost, the, boost the channel. And um, yeah, I appreciate you watching. We'll get on to the next one. Cheers. So this is uh, the rerun test, day one. This is day two, 25, or nearly 26 hours in. And nearly 49 hours, day three, and we have consumed 37 amp hours so far. 80 amp hours consumed. Then at 121 hours, uh, we have consumed 87 amp hours. And then the BMS is now cut out at 124 hours. And there's a live view there. And you can see, 10.59. That's with the uh, the charger switching the uh, BMS back on so we can access it. And this is just me uh, reselling that little display, which we can't really trust at the moment. And then we're going to uh, fully charge that battery and just see how much, um, how many amp hours go back into it. But from the first test, there's a big difference in the second test. Um, from the calculations, we have consumed basically the full 100 amp hours, which I'm happy with. Uh, the fridge ran for 124 hours in total, nearly. Um, it was a bit cooler sitting in around 30 degrees uh, ambient temperature throughout the days. So, uh, so far, I'm pretty happy with that. And uh, there we go, we're just pumping the, pump some uh, juice back into the battery. And uh, yeah, we'll leave that and see uh, what it reads the next day. So it's next day, 18 hours in, and we've put back in 13.5 uh, volts, um, 18 hours, and we've put in 99.7 amp hours. So I'm pretty happy with that result. Cheers for watching.